This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see man analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm gonna give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, Citadel Securities have been the darlings, the darlings of mainstream media. They have allegedly returned seven billion to to clients. They are making money hand over fist. They have, they're the, the, the richest, most profitable hedge fund in the history of the stock market. They're donating $400 million to cancer research. And we know they do not care about cancer because they shorted cancer companies. So this is absolutely nonsense. Who knows the real reason they pledged that $400 million to cancer research if it was if it was a pledge or if they really got the money, that's something for the IRS to investigate. But here's the thing. If Citadel is doing so great, if they're the best hedge fund, the most profitable hedge fund in the history of the stock market, why are four of their portfolio managers jumping ship? If you were a portfolio manager in the most profitable hedge fund in the history of the stock market who had aspirations of doing even better in 2024 or if you thought it was going to do better in 2024 would you be jumping ship more than likely not and now who knows why these guys are jumping ship Everybody changed jobs for their own personal reasons. And there's no way for me or any other YouTuber to know why these guys are jumping ship. But, but I do theorize that they see Citadel heading in the wrong direction and they want to get out and escape before it comes to an end. When the ship starts sinking, the rats usually jump off. I mean, just like these banks and these hedge funds, self-preservation always kicks in and people tend to save themselves before they save other people. So could these portfolio managers be leaving for personal reasons or professional reasons beyond the demise of Citadel? Of course, that is a distinct possibility. But I believe, and this is just a theory of mine, this is my opinion, that they see the, the, the demise of Citadel imminent and they want to get out before Citadel goes down with the ship. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Why do you think these four po portfolio managers are bailing on Citadel. Do you think it's for personal reasons or do they think that Citadel is about to go down? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.